Now joined by Corey Jensen, head coach of the Hanover Boys team. Coach, I'm going to take you back a, a few weeks there to the TVL tournament. Probably not the um, result you guys were looking for. And in that game against Centralia, you seemed to come out just a little flat. So what did you want the boys to take away from that experience once everything wrapped up? Well, going into the TVL tournament, um, we were the sixth seed. So um, we knew... If we were going to get to where we wanted to be, we'd have to go probably through the three seed and the two seed, you know. And unfortunately, came came way two two points short of of getting to that championship game. But you know, going back to the Centralia game, yeah, we, we had that a flat first half where we we didn't score many points, but luckily our defense was good enough. We didn't we held them to to 19 points as well. And it's just um, you know, offensively, it's it's tough to put together you know four quarters consistently. Um, and you got to give credit to Centralia; they play pretty good defense. But, you know, I was really proud of the guys. It, it was a hard-fought game. We got up, you know, eight or so, and Centralia made a comeback, and, and we held them off. So it was good to, um, you know, beat an undefeated Centralia team and get to that, that semifinals and where we ran into Blue Valley, who's a very good team, and just came up two points short. And then you guys bounced back real quick there Tuesday night after everything wrapped up um, Monday. So how was that energy level that week after playing so many games in a short time? It's tough. Um, I know a lot of TVL teams leave that date open. Um, we we, de- we decide to play it, um, and, and you know it was tough. You know, you get one practice after all those games and try and prepare for a team on Tuesday. And again, we came out flat in the first half, but then responded really well in the in the second half. And I think we scored fifty some points. So you know, it, it was proud of the guys. They're battling. They're getting better every single day, and that's all that matters. And I guess from the coaching perspective, and you talk about you being a little more fluid this year than maybe in years past, how have the boys, you know, adjusted and taken to that those changes? They, they've done a really good job with it. Um, you know, and, that, and it started in the summer. Um, everyone knew that there would be a lot of changes that we've made with four departing seniors that were really, really, really good. Um, but we, we've had guys adapt, obviously fill in different roles and, and we've had some freshmen that come in and contribute. We've had some sophomores. Everyone's contributing. We, we play about seven, eight guys, and, you know, they all add something special to our team, and, and that's really, that's really um, a positive for us. They all bought into our culture, and, and no one really cares who scores points. It's just we're trying to get better, and, and we're trying to be, you know, peak at Substate.